hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I have created this soft purple eyeshadow and lipstick look with a perfect purple top and oxidized stud earrings this look is perfect for your office parties or birthday parties or any small event where you like to dazzle and sparkle like a beautiful elegant sweet little girl so let's start how i created first to prep my skin i've taken green leaf aloe vera gel i find this gel as to be the best primer for my oily skin i'm applying the gel well off deep into my skin so that my skin gets better moisturized the next step is the foundation the foundation I've taken today is from wet and wild all the shades and the links to these products will be mentioned in the description box below for your reference please read the description box I am applying the foundation in the dotted form throughout my face and also I will apply it a little bit onto the neck part so that it brings an even toned skin throughout the visible areas from your face to the neck let's take a sponge it's a wet sponge dubbed in water and I'm trying to blend the foundation into my skin the foundation might look little lighter to my skin tone but trust me it is not it's the perfect match once it gets oxidized it gets so well with my skin tone that I just love wearing this foundation on most events and I'm very fond of this foundation it's it's a kind of medium coverage foundation but I am not a fan of wearing in high coverage foundations so I'm just blending the foundation into my skin As I am a starter for makeup and all, I do not know how to do. I'm not a professional. So I just visit a lot of YouTube videos. One of these one of these days I'm following is Mita Deepak's video where the key to settling all the foundation is to blend, blend and blend. The next I'm taking concealer from Swiss Beauty. It's in shade 05 and applying onto my under eye areas and to the bridge of my nose You can again see it's lighter to my skin tone but once I apply the powder to mattify it and give it time to settle onto my skin it gets perfectly oxidized. And let's now take a setting powder translucent, mm, translucent 
setting powder from Swiss Beauty Prime set. Oh my god, this powder works wonders, guys. I bought this powder after seeing Niti Katya's video and she has been talking a lot about this powder. I, sh I thought maybe just give it a shot from Cups and Lashes. I'm going to link that below and it's it's an amazing translucent powder. It doesn't leave any white dust. It mattifies your face. So perfect. So perfect. And it, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Please go ahead and try this. It's the best loose powder. You can see how perfectly it has mattified my face. Taking a powder brush and just buffing off the extra powder. Next, I'm going to again take the same powder, put it below my eyes so that once I apply my eyeshadow if there are any fallouts I can clearly remove them so just now I'm taking this makeup revolution palette and taking this shade for as my transition shade over my eyelids and I'm going to apply it all over my upper eye just to kind of give an even tone to complete canvas. The so next thing I'm going to take is a dark brown shade right here and using a pencil brush I'm just going to put it onto the outer corner of my eyes forming a V and I'm going to extend my crease to the upper portion as I have hooded eyes so I would like to create a, a, a another cool crease that would give an illusion that I have my original crease over there. All these tricks again just learn from Smita. Guys you should go and watch her videos if you are a beginner. You would learn a lot of things from her. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. I would love to give you certain tips and tricks here as well though I'm learning from her only but still just applying in the same manner as I did to my first time And also kind of creating a V. Trying to intensify the colors. And you can see the perfect brown shade is all over. The next I'm going to take the 7 season palette and take this purple shade and apply it to the inner corners and onto the rest of my eye lid. Just to give a tinge of purple shade, not much.
trying to intensify the purple shade to the mount I am happy with. I am happy with the purple shade now on my eyes. Let's start at the lower lashes. Just taking the purple color again and putting it onto my lower area of the eye. Just as a form of kajal or something. Just to smoothify give a smoky effect onto the lower eyes as well, lower portion of the eyes. Putting it darker onto my outer corner of the lower eye and now removing the Translucent powder that I had kept just below my eye. As you can see now, the foundation has oxidized, it doesn't look that darker. Let's start with the eyebrows. For eyebrows, I have taken a gray shade from this eyebrow pencil, and this pencil has a spoolie as well, and I got this from so this is the perfect eyebrow pencil that I have got so far and I really love it it's perfect for my eyes eyebrow hairs as it's a perfect match to their color dark gray shade Though I don't have that dark eyebrows, so for me, it's very essential to have a perfect eyebrows drawn using eyebrow pencils. I just follow my eyebrow hair and try to darken them that's it i do not work on the shape much I'm taking it fully and pushing my hair back, evenly distributing all the color on eyebrows. Just dusting off some more excess. Now is the time for eyeliner. I'm using Steak Oki Liquid Eyeliner. It's a very, very nice eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, perfect jet black, dries up so quickly and has a beautiful wand that helps you apply very thin eyeliner. I just thought of keeping a very thin eyeliner with a perfect wing. The, the difficult part is to create the wing, though I tried with creating it on camera. But it's too difficult. You will find me doing a lot of tricks to just get the perfect eyeliner. This shows how I'm learning. 
I did the other eye off camera and now applying mascara from Maybelline. It's some push up mascara, eyelash push up mascara from Maybelline. This mascara is so good that I don't feel like using falsies and I'm not a big fan of falsies as well. But this mascara changed my eyelashes so well that I don't feel like using falsies. Which even I don't like to. Next, I am just tight lining my lower and upper waterline using plum cool kajal in black. This is a perfect kajal you can ask for. It's so good. It stays there for most of your time. And it doesn't even smudge. It's so perfect. Just tight lining my upper Next is to take an highlighter from Audible, taking the white shade from that palette and using it just to highlight my brow bone. The next step is to contour using a bronzer and a brown contour shade from Sugar. This is again a perfect shade for my skin. Gives me that tinge of warmth to my skin. As you can see. Applying it onto my forehead. Cheek. All over my cheek and also onto the jaw line. As I have a double chin, so I'm trying to apply it onto the area where there's a double chin as well, just to highlight. Then contouring my nose, I have a big nose. I need to chisel it up. The next thing I forgot to apply highlight now onto my inner portion of the eye. So I am doing it now using the same Audible highlighter and using the same white shade. Next is using this Ashley palette which is a double layered palette and using this light pink color for my blusher. It's a perfect shade. Give just a little bit pinky effect to your cheeks. As you can see, such a nice pink effect. Not much. That's it. Let's start off with the lipstick. You will use sugar in the shade 45. I have to double check the shade. That's done. Have to go. Comb your hair. Short hair needs to go. Just do a three strokes and you are done. All set for the party. I just wore the studded oxidized earrings. So if you like this look, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Also like the bell, like the like it share the videos and also hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button stay tuned for further amazing videos and keep learning along with me